Hello you beautiful creatures! Welcome to this week's video! Today I am going to be painting on one of my IV bags and for those of you who don't know, I have an autoimmune disease and I get my treatment through the IV. I have been collecting my IV bags for the past couple months because I've been waiting to make this series and I've been so nervous to paint to like actually start painting on them because I want it to be good, you know? So through this series, I thought I would document my journey with chronic illness by showcasing where and how I kind of feel my pain, whether that's emotional or physical, because chronic illness has all kinds of pain. <laughs> For this first painting, I decided to paint a girl with flowers ripping open her stomach because with my particular disease, it often feels like my guts are falling out of my body. <laughs> so when they first called me and told me that I was going to start heavy treatment for my illness, I started crying because in that moment I realized I was really sick. If I wasn't that sick, I wouldn't have needed this. I was really scared. Scared to go to the doctors and sit with a catheter in my hand for hours, but also scared that it wouldn't work. Scared because I woke up one day and I was sick for the rest of my life and I wasn't prepared for that. So for a really long time, I was mad at the IV because I felt like I was stuck to it and I pretty much was because it was in my hand, you know, I couldn't really go anywhere with it in my hand. I realize now that it was actually setting me free. The treatment is helping my body heal so that I don't have to be a slave to my disease. And of course, there are still good and bad days because the healing process is very fragile, but I feel so much better since starting my new treatment, and I really hope that I continue to improve. Sorry that's kind of long-winded, I just wanted to share my experience. And if you guys have any experiences with chronic illness, let me know because I'd love to talk to you about it. I know it can be really hard, so if you ever need somebody to talk to, and even people who don't have illnesses, if you ever just need somebody to talk to, hit me up on the gram and let's talk. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope quarantine is treating you well. I hope you're social distancing and just stay safe out there, boys. See you next week. <laughs>